my name is Sarah Ray. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about what it's like to be a kid in the hospital during the holiday season. During kind of any holiday season, but I'm going to specifically talk about Christmas the most. So, with that said, you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications of when I upload. And let's get talking about this discussion. First, I want to talk about what it's like to be a child during Christmas. You are surrounded by family, you are surrounded by tradition, joy, happiness, excitement, gifts, just the magic of Christmas. But in the hospital, it is completely different. It is gloomy, it time stands still, you watch people pass by with no cares in the world. It, it feels like you're just existing, really. And every day is just another day, no matter what day it is. Because all that is being focused on is your health. And it feels like nothing changes in there. Nothing outside is being influenced inside. And I've always said that when I get out of the hospital, I feel like I have to do a catch up because I, I feel like I, I've been, I fell back because of being in the hospital. Now, um, for people who are new here, I have Crohn's disease. I was diagnosed when I was 10 and when I was 12, I started having surgeries. To date, I've had 18 abdominal surgeries. It is an autoimmune disease and it sucks. We'll leave it at that. Uh, my family's traditions we celebrate on Christmas Eve. That's when we open all our gifts. We have a platter tray of snacks. We have olives and cream cheese. If you like olives and you like cream cheese and you haven't tried that, do it. Just stick it like in the pit, the hole of the olive, and then eat it. It's incredible. We have cheese, summer sausage, dip, crackers, chips, carrots, you name it. And then we watch a movie and we celebrate also on Christmas Day, but we do Christmas dinner. So that's kind of our tradition and it's been that way since forever, <laughs> really. But um, so when you're in the hospital, that don't exist and you get kind of depressed. You feel like things aren't going to be that way. Like really, like you just get down. But I had some of the greatest nurses and they really influenced me to want to become a nurse as well as my mom because she is a nurse, but they made me want to become an RN. They were so passionate about their job. They loved what they were doing. They wanted to help everyone. So they made sure I had abundance of crafts to do. Me and my mom would make them bracelets. I would draw pictures for them. Just do things just to give back to them for what they were doing for me. They would bring in a game console. Back when we had box TVs, <laughs> they would wheel in a box TV that was plugged into either a Super Nintendo or a PlayStation, because those were our consoles back then. Just a regular PlayStation, not um, just PlayStation, the first one. And that's the games we'd play. So my mom and I, we would sit there and play Mario, Super Mario Brothers on um, the Super Nintendo. But for the holidays, they would decorate out in the halls and I would walk them and I'd love it. But it still felt, it didn't feel like Christmas to me until they sent Santa around and even though you're 15, 13, 12, it's still exciting because they are gifting you something. Even if it's a teddy bear, more crafts, that is thoughtful. They didn't have to do that. And they're sending around this guy that oozes this magic of Christmas, this joy, and it just, it gets you excited and in the Christmas spirit, which is so fun. And then you get to go through the gifting process with your family. If your whole family's there, if it's just your your parents and you, like it was just me and my mom. And then uh, for me, I was happy that I was surrounded by all of my 
family to me my hospital family is what I call them and that's my mom and the staff and myself and they gave me something they they gave me a gift and it was so sweet of them because they're not supposed to do that but it was so sweet of them so that's kind of what it's like to be a kid in the hospital it's a little it's very tough because you're missing out on a lot so it's very it's very mental but you get through it as long as you have that support right i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know if you guys have experienced christmas in the hospital what was it like for you leave it in the comment section down below and i hope you guys are staying safe and well i'll see you guys in the next video which is christmas christmas day so See you then. Bye.